So I'm going to play the video through now, and what you'll see is me going through the process of turning on zone track, enabling zone one, and telling the radar to show targets if they're in the zone. And now I have to define the zone area. I'm actually going to bring the range down because I've been playing with a long range zone. But you'll see that zone appear now in the short range. And I'm going to define a sector or an arc out in front of my own vessel that I wish the radar to automatically track targets. So now that I've saved that zone, you can see that immediately every target that was within that zone has been assigned a track ID. And where those targets have CPA or TCPA values within my dangerous target criteria, they are highlighted yellow. You do have the ability through the target tracking menu to go and apply filters to these targets, such as low speed or zero speed filters, if you're not interested in tracking stationary objects. So as this radar, uh, radar video plays through, you can see there's a contact right on our heading line, um, and it's just outside the zone at the moment that I've defined. So as we allowed that radar to image to video to play through, you'll see that as soon as that target enters the zone, it will immediately be auto-tracked. We'll give it a second to just enter the zone right on the ship's head. So there you go, target number 35, immediately tracked as it entered the zone.